that complete milk culture is inseparably bound up with religion in India. Krishna, one of the main godheads and patron of the cow, is depicted on many a box of candy. Namaskar. My name is Ajay Sharma. I was born close to this township here. Its name is Vrindavan. A rather small place located between our capital New Delhi in the north and the famous city of Agra in the south. But Vrindavan is very famous throughout all of India. To many of us, it sounds like music in the ears. And it reminds me of a kind of a small paradise full of milk, butter, honey, and fruits. Here, on the banks of the river Yamuna, in the wind city of Vrindavan, Lord Krishna, our flute playing and blue skin god, from many centuries ago, with his cows through the now extinct forest and pastures. Krishna, although of royal descent, was brought up by step parents who were known for their skill in cattle breeding and high yielding milk cows. Therefore, Krishna is also known to us as Govinda, the cow keeper. In his childhood, he spent every day with his cows of his step parents and naturally was very much attached to all the products of milk. Later in his life, when he was grown up, he took to his flute and played so wonderfully and magically that all the beautiful young cowardesses or gopis, as we call them, fell deeply in love with him. But Krishna also had an attachment to one single gopi named Radha. So Radha and Krishna became known to us as the perfect lovers. Sati Bane Bane Bane